Boom! We're back. Yep. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Here, let me slice <laughs> off a piece of ham for Larry's recipe today. Can you believe this? We haven't been on 15 seconds, and he's already carving on me well, with a knife. It's, well, absolutely. I could take off a few inches in the here, and, uh, well... <laughs> you, <laughs> Enough already. You know, people have been sending us a lot of stuff. Oh, like, they have been yeah. sending us a lot of stuff. In fact, I have a gift here for you. It has your name okay. right on it. And this lady from Pennsylvania has sent you a bunch of Christmas stuff, even though it's not Christmas oh, uh, anymore, but it's well, real pretty. Nice. All sorts of pretty fine things. Uh -huh. Isn't that just gorgeous? Lovely. She didn't make a bit of it herself, but she went out and bought well, it herself. Sweet. Nice little thing to hang around your whatever there and uh, you well, know. Well, we've had a, some people in Philadelphia, we were in Philadelphia recently, sent us a new can opener, which I have yet to master, and uh, a jar opener. This one is really swell, because you, you kind of pop the vacuum seal with this and then undo it. And uh, then of course we have these representations done on somebody's computer of Larry and I. There is a uh, Oh, that's that's me. Laban. Uh, his, the picture of his head is so old he didn't even recognize himself. Uh -huh. uh, that's when you had about 40 pounds of hair. And, and of course, that does actually look like I, I currently ah. do. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> I actually, you know, I've been working out for the last year. It's not quite that good. But, and it uh, isn't working out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Dillard Childress can tell you that. I, I look pretty much like that. He, he goes to the same gym I go to. He can tell you when I'm. Uh, come out here, Doris. I hate to bring Doris in too early because, well, you know. You know. But, you know, we, we were in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania a couple of months ago, and the people up there probably wanted to know more where Doris and Harold were than where we were, I think. So, anyway, some people brought this bunch of stuff for you, a little gift pack here, I don't know, some kind of little doll baby or something. That you may want to open that. That's just for you. And I want you to know that I carried that through the airport, through three or four airports for you. And well, I guess it's supposed to be like a little witch. Mm -hmm. Isn't that well, cute? Yeah, <laughs> well, it's supposed to be. But I got to tell you, this tell is. Tell him thank you. Laban can tell you this is a true story. I and came then, back with so much stuff in my bag, uh, bottles of stuff, and, and and that it's the first time this is a true story. They pulled me aside and says, "Can we go through your bags?" And I had to stand there while they tore out the Dolls. doll babies. And the, uh -huh. So anyway, well, thank you and. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot and come they back. They didn't bother me. Anyway. I don't look suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> and nor was he carrying anything. So anyway, what we're doing today are No, we don't know yet. Well, we don't know what we're doing the today. The witch has got to come tell us. Boink. What we're right, doing is calling the, the witches. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the Dear guys, here's the deal. Albert had been hunting and shot a very large, a very large deer with umpteen points. In his excitement on the way home, he hit a pig in the road and crashed into a farmer's chicken coop. Our question is, what can you do with chicken, ham, and venison? We need cheap recipes because our car insurance has just tripled in cost. Thanks, Albert and Doreen Dodge from what you call it, Pennsylvania. What you call it, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite towns. I'm going to do the unnamed casserole from Philly, sent in by uh, the Evans family of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A good bunch of the Evans right. family. And Linda Watson of Philadelphia sent in this recipe for square baked chicken and cabbage. And I think that we have the lovely Miss Thing coming in with some venison after yes. a while, I believe so. You know, Laban, uh, this is our 18th season. 18 years of doing the same show. It's just amazing, mm -hmm. it really is, and we're still just as excited as ever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we have had some requests uh, from some of the younger audience uh, that while they enjoy the show, they feel like we really just don't have enough special effects on mm -hmm. the program, lots of glitz and effects and noise and sounds. So this year, I've brought some handy dandy <laughs> Is it wonderful? Uh -huh. Isn't that frightening, boys and girls? That's as good as it gets right there. Uh, Jim oh. Hammerstrom. Ah. Mm. It's oh. frightening, scary. So I, there you go, special effects. Well, I mean, it's cooking cheap. It's cheap mm -hmm. special effects. I remember when that one was walking around. Perhaps I'll be doing <laughs> uh -huh. the recipe wearing this. <laughs> it's rubber or something. <laughs> oh. oh. There we go. Fat hands. So anyway. All right. Uh, 
like, I've got so much slicing and chopping to do. But don't, don't you, you always. Why don't you just go on and you start and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, we got a pan over here on the stove and the first thing you're gonna do is, is take a couple of tablespoons of margarine or butter and throw it in there because we're gonna make your stuffing in there. By the way, now if you have, this would be a great recipe to do around Thanksgiving time if you have a bunch of stuffing left over and everybody's sick of it and you don't want to do. Well, what you do is you'll stuff a ham with it. Use the stuffing you've already got. I would make it up from scratch because I make a fabulous stuffing, although not nearly as good as yours. Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't tasted his in years because he stopped having us over for Thanksgiving. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> now the first thing you got to do is slice up about six ham slices, and I got a pre cooked, pre baked job, and uh, it's not cheap. So the first thing it says slice the slices a little bit thicker than you would for a sandwich. So that's but you don't want it too thick because you have got to be able to, uh, to uh, roll it like so. Actually, like so. That's too thick. I'm going to try another one. I'm going to take it out of the pack. But anyway, the first thing you do is heat up some margarine. We're going to do it with some stovetop stuffing today uh, just to be quick on TV, but you can do it with your own stuffing at home if you want to. I'm going to slice that just a little bit thinner, I think, because I need to be able to roll this around the stuffing after a while. So that's all I'm going to do for the moment. And now back to you, Laban. All right. Uh, I have just sliced two mushrooms. That's all, just two. Uh, a half a carrot and a half a stalk of celery, or rib of celery is, I guess, the co correct term. And I need the equivalent of a, of a medium-sized onion that is sliced. And, and this is going to be a... I'm just going to do half of this one because I don't think we need it all. This is a juicy dish. It makes a big mess. And uh, don't try to carry it to a buffet dinner because it's, it's just too sloppy. But it looks good. We'll see. What now, is it? It's a chicken leg dish. What you, you get an 8 by 8 pan and you fit chicken legs in it and I've got seven in this one <laughs> and uh, you, you put those in and then we're going to sprinkle the carrots and the mushrooms over top of everything and the <laughs> I just, celery. I just threw that big leftover piece of ham at, at Miss Doris and it, just, it landed with a thud. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's gone off to take care of her ham uh, and of course we do have uh, some people standing by to give her some assistance. Yes. So anyway. <laughs> I anyway. didn't know she called Harold a ham these days. <laughs> All right, anyway, you layer your stuff now. I'm putting on the celery. And finally, you need some cabbage, and you just shred it like you would do for coleslaw. And uh, the recipe calls for a half a cabbage, but you don't really need that much. I don't know what you need, but that's just, all right, I'm gonna sh go back through and cut this a little bit, chop it some. I gotta put some water in with our margarine, about one and a quarter's cup, and I'm gonna make the stuffing right now. And, uh, what you do is you bring all that to a boil, and when it's, oh, you put your seasoning packet in and bring it to a boil. <laughs> so what you do, make it stove. I've never made, I know this is a funny thing, but I've never made stovetop before. I always make mine from scratch. Well, I do too. I do, and I don't do it that often because if, if I eat stuffing every day, I. Well, be, the stuffing would be showing. They'd be able to paint a sign on the side <laughs> of me and rent me out, much like that friend we have uh -huh. <laughs> that works in the billboard business. But anyway. I'm going to put that in there. I've got to bring that to a little bit of a boil, and then we'll put the rest of the stuff in in a couple of minutes and make our stuffing. Now, what I've done over here is I've gone on ahead, and I've sliced these fairly so that I could at least roll them. You can take a look at it. There we go. We'll be able to roll them. 
and what we'll do is put them into a nice baking dish here in a couple minutes. Meantime, you have your choice of either uh, of some sort of a cream of mushroom or cream of celery soup. I have chosen mushroom for this one and uh, celery for the one that's actually in the oven that we're going to eat at the end of this program if we behave ourselves and we're lucky. Mm -hmm. And I have to add a can of milk to that and mix that thoroughly with a whisk and that's what I'm going to do right Could now. Could I have a bowl, or Mm -hmm. Bigger than that, mm -hmm. but no, no, have that ready to go. That's going to be poured on top of it here in just a little while, and that's what your ham is going to bake in. Well, well I'm ready to go home. Well, oh no, uh, I haven't finished yet. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just to my mind. I'm just not back into well, it again. Well, we're not. You know, you know we're we're out of practice. We really we're are. Not, we're not ashamed of admitting. We're that. at that terrible portion of the program where I'm waiting for something to boil, and there's nothing I can do about it. So you'll just have to hang in there. Thank you so much. All right, now on mine, you have to sprinkle on. Oh dear, all of these spices. About a teaspoon of sugar. Hmm. So there's a teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> Why? I, who knows? Well, that's the strangest thing. Well, it is. A little. This a little. Fun. A little. Some garlic that. powder. I should have had this stuff heating up a while ago. Why am I goofy doing this right now, waiting for it to do something? All right. Some cayenne pepper, some uh -huh. red hot pepper. Is this like the end of your recipe that you're performing here? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and now Doris and Harold will come in and sing. Uh-huh. You know, Doris and Harold just got back from Iceland. I got a card from them uh -huh. today, and it says we're having a great time in Iceland, but she's here in the studio uh -huh. today. I can't figure this out. I don't understand. Well, when the hell they got, I got my card from her last week, but <laughs> it was still took a right little while. It was still cold when I got my hands on it, the card was. One time, first time I ever left the country, mm -hmm. and I was in the uh, Austrian Alps, and... Uh, I mailed my mama a postcard on the 4th of July, uh -huh. and she got it in the mitten by Christmas. Is that so? <laughs> Took that long, yep. Mail is very slow. Well, it was mail used to be a lot faster then than it is now. That's poultry seasoning I just put on. Poultry seasoning. Yep. And I think that's all that I have to be sprinkling on there. Now I've got to make a sauce. So you want to go ahead and do something wrong? Oh, thank heavens this stuff is boiling. <laughs> can't tell you. Now, now that this has boiled, what you do is you add your little stuffing part and fluff it around. And then you let it set for a few minutes. Take it off the heat and let it set for a few minutes. Try to keep up there a little bit upstairs there. You know, Andre's a little out of practice. <laughs> He's going to come down here and smack me in a minute. Oh. So anyway, we've got to let that set up just a couple of seconds. Can't deal with that right now. It's, it's got to set up, okay? So there it is, setting up. Well, I mean, that's all it's got to, yeah. it's just got to sit there for a second. I can't hurry this. Well, I need anyway. a half a can of cream of chicken soup, and I, oop, put it in, the, just, I'm telling you, I'm spilling stuff. Looks like, they it got a, looks like they got a new bucket. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't see. I'm blind. I've been at the eye doctor today. Um, a half a can of soup. Is and, there anything that you haven't had operated on in the last six months? Yes, oh. but it's none of your business. <laughs> uh, this recipe calls for a half a cup of soy sauce, but I'm not putting that much in it because I think it's too much. It'll ruin you. Get that puppet out of here. <laughs> Over... 30 years ago, I started working in this place <laughs> with, this with, very a, with a puppet. Ah. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> ah. Don't ever work with a puppet that will upstage you. Now I've just got to... <laughs> I'm having a good time. Of course, Doris gave you the whisk. Well, I have no, it. No, that's all right. Well, it's I... back in the sink. I don't think I'd want it. <laughs> if it's back in the sink, I don't think you I'd want it. You don't know what it. they do back here while we're not here. Okay, now I'm ready for a little assemblage. Well, good. A little assemblage. Take just a little bit of this, and I decided that you can't take much more than a tablespoonful of it, and you're going to do uh, the uh, hokey pokey. No, that's not what you're going to do. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to roll this. 
the hokey pokey. Roll another one. There it goes. <laughs> it would be nice if I had some toothpicks. Do you have any toothpicks, Doris? Do we have any toothpicks? Are there any toothpicks in the house? It's going to unroll. See what's going to happen? Some. Gonna... Wait a minute. There's some over here. Uh, it would be in nice if you had a tooth. Oh, toothpicks are coming from everywhere. The toothpick capital of the world, here ladies and gentlemen, here's Roanoke, some, Virginia. Here's some colored ones. No, I don't want colored ones. I, and, and I'm only going to use them temporarily because I don't want Ow. this thing to open up and fly all over the place and put someone's eye out until I'm ready for it to go. I'll pick all those out in a little bit. But right now, until I get all six of these in there, well, for heaven's sake. There we go. So anyway, I'm going to do that. Right. There seems to be a lot of mumbling here well, in the studio. There is. What's going on? Just everybody's just amazed there are at how goofy all this is. Uh, well, it is a right stupid program. Go ahead. What do you got? Well, I thought I'd read this letter that came in from uh, Jay Clark or Chark. Uh, well, what is it? Well, I, and I don't know where Jay is from. Bristol, Tennessee says, Well, to, there you go, right to there. To Larry and Laban, it is a shame <laughs> the way you two old men talk to Doris Ford on that show. <laughs> you two are disgusting. You don't have the right person helping you because if that was me, there would be no cooking cheap because... They would fire us all. <laughs> P.S. She has feelings too. <laughs> and mean people can do things that hurt. My heart goes out to her. <laughs> Can't you be a little nicer to her? She is the heart of the show. She's the nudge of the show. <laughs> Bring her in here. She's Come in here, Doris. She's the one with all of the... Uh, <laughs> Well, now, I just think that's a pitiful letter. Did you give that guy's name? Yes. Oh, well, why'd you do that? Now I can't say what I wanted to say. I, I'm sure that he's a well-intentioned person. Mm. And, uh, but we love Doris. We really do love Doris. And Doris, Doris is knows, nothing without Doris me. Knows Hang it. on a second. <laughs> Doris is nothing without me because she doesn't have a mic. <laughs> that's true. Now you can talk. <laughs> and, and, I, and I know that you guys are just kidding. We are. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? <laughs> me? You didn't bring some deer meat. Yeah, down here, Laban did. told me. He said, I, he said I had three weeks to do it in. <laughs> I said, whoa, well, I think. <laughs> I hope you're happy. She's just burned a hole, ladies and gentlemen, in her fine little. Yeah, that's just oh, real attractive. Oh, it's just platter going to And there it is, there right it on is. top of the stove. Let it, start like an overhead shot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Gee, it was oh, a geez. good notebook. <laughs> this was expensive, too. I, mean, I searched all over for this about three years ago. <laughs> oh, and the aroma. Oh, burning plastic. There's Would nothing you hold like this it. while I finish that? Go ahead. Now, Talking. don't put it back down on it no, again. <laughs> I had to do a venison roast, and I've, I've got uh, three to four pound venison, which I browned in, in um, flour. And then uh, I hold your mic up there, darling. <laughs> we can't hear you with it sticking out here. Let me get that out. And uh, I, you brown it in flour and a little olive oil. And then I add some chopped um, onion, a garlic chop, and, and a mix together a half a cup of dry mustard, one teaspoon of paprika, one bay leaf, four peppercorns, one and a half teaspoon salt, uh. a half, fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a third a cup of vinegar one 15-ounce can of tomato sauce, and one cup of white wine. If you don't like using white wine, you could use uh, either beef broth or uh, chicken broth or something like that. And it's sort of like a barbecue. And uh, the, it's got a nice gravy to it that you can use for rice or chick, um, noodles or even mashed potatoes or well, something like that. Well, it looks real pretty. <clears throat> so I, I get and, and it. it I cook it in the oven. I bake mine in the oven. You can do it on the top of the stove if you like, and it takes uh, about three to four hours depending on the age of your venison. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to sort of judge on that one. Now, I, you I have wanna... to ask the deer how old it is <laughs> really? before you shoot it. <laughs> I don't know if it tells by teeth put, put or that up what. To, this goes to your mouth. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> Tell us about. Did you enjoy you and Harold enjoy your trip? Yeah, we we really to Iceland. Did. Was yeah, that where we you went? went to we went to Iceland for Christmas to get to the snow and did whatever. You have any there was no snow. There was no <laughs> ice. There was no. Is that so? It, no ice a, in Iceland. No ice. 
they had an abnormally warm <coughs> winter. I'm glad that she had a nice but, vacation, though, because you know how much we love you, Doris. <laughs> and you wish I stayed there. And no, 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 don't you. See, you're, you're causing that man's going to give me a hard time again. Okay, i got to do something here. Here we go. I'm going to take the toothpicks out here. Bye, Doris. I'm going to And Doris, we love you. We really do. You're going to find me a new thing? What you do yeah. now is you take your soup, you take your soup, and you pour that. Over, see, you've got all these rolled up, about six of them, and a real nice, Doris has picked out a real nice pan for this to bake it. And you put your soup over top of that, and you put it in the oven, and you bake it at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Got one in the oven, I'm going to have to get okay. it out right now. Right. You got you something go, else yeah, to do? Oh, yeah, I'm not finished yet. Well, this you better be finished right. in three minutes. This is a sauce made with a half a can, go figure, a half a can of cream of chicken soup, a half of cup of soy sauce, which is way too much, and a couple of cups of water. And I'm just going to pour this over all of this. And then you bake it at 375 for about um, 45 minutes or so, or until the chicken is tender. Now, let me pour I'm some more. I'm sweating water. like a pig here. I got this stuff out of the oven. This is what it looks like when it comes Oops. out of the oven. It looks pretty much like it oh, did when it no. went in the oven. Oh, wait a minute. We don't want to miss this. Oh, Startling overhead of Laban's area. Daggone it. What else is going to go wrong? I'm giving up. <laughs> what a mess. What did you dump that in there for? Well, it, the recipe called for it. And the one I made yesterday accepted two cups of this is a mess, ladies and gentlemen. I need something. And to you get seal that out it up with way. aluminum foil, and that's it. Well, Ooh, I what think a mess. is that all of it? Yeah, that's it. Well, that's so attractive, Laban. Just dripping. Oh, the recipes. Oh yeah, yeah. Six boil the unnamed casserole from Philly. Six boiled ham slices, a little thicker than for sandwiches. Some stovetop stuffing, or use some used stuffing at Thanksgiving if you got it. A can of. Uh, cream soup, either mushroom or celery, and a half a can of milk, which you use in the soup can, and uh, that's it. Uh, uh, and the square baked chicken and cabbage, you need one and a half pounds of chicken legs, a half a head of cabbage shredded, one medium onion sliced, one half carrot sliced, one stalk, half a uh, rib of celery sliced, two mushrooms trimmed and sliced, a half a cup, way too much of soy sauce, three to five cups of water, one half can cream of chicken soup, uh, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, and sugar. Well, we got to get over here and get to oh, it. I, well, I want to see if I can get mine. I'm out trying to the get oven. this rubber off of the <laughs> that is that she has put all over. Ooh. Look at that, all over my fine eye. It's just the biggest mess, I'll swear. But we love her, you know, we love her, even though she does stuff like that once in a while. We all make <sighs> mistakes, goodness knows. Now, is there a trivet I can put this on? Look at, look at Doris Ron. I love to watch her when she does <laughs> We things. can't get it to the table. Let's there all run to the table at the same time. Oh, That's close enough, Johnson. If all you right. got it on the table, it's close enough for me. Oh, well, I'm so glad. You're so affable and easy going. You know, today. I really am. Let you me. know, we got to mark the, these tables and chairs. I almost knocked that pig off. Again. I hope that your doctor doesn't see you gnawing on that. Oh, I do too, because... And here, let me get you some of this fine venison. Mmm, big old piece of it <laughs> over here. Just look at that. It's so tender. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Uh-huh. That really is gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to eat... Mm, mm. I'm telling you, I'm full. <laughs> now, let me take right, some of this ham roll up. Let me plate and I'll give you a, a leg. Well, it's real pretty. It looks like it's just running all over the place. Now, what is this chicken that you've done here it's, with some sort of soy sauce and it's on it's supposed to be served with the juice and everything over a... Well, Laban, it's like rubber. <laughs> well, I told you there's too much... It's like rubber. Well, I can't even find a place to get into it to cut. <laughs> it won't cut. <laughs> Bad knives. <laughs> but it has a real nice flavor. Well, good. Mm-hmm. Well. I'm going to try my little ham thing. How bad could it be? I mean, it's got dressing well, and ham. What can you do to that? Uh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of soup.
Mmm. Mm. Tastes real good. I like mm -hmm. that. Very nice. Not bad. Well, and we've got the venison, and it's all real nice. Well, it's a shame that you just kind of got that wadded up so nobody well, can see any of it, but it's stuck to it. It's it, just it's terrible. Venison. Excuse me. It's really good. Isn't it though? Mm -hmm. It really is. Well, that's about it. I don't imagine there's much more we could do on well, this program. We'll be back to do it right next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming by.